How's it going everyone? It's me, Crazy Dude, I'm back with some more smashing quality content. Today I have a bit of a different video. I haven't done a ranking video in a while. Today I'm going to be trying to rank every single class in Garden Warfare 2, who I believe to be the worst one, to the best one. This is going to take into consideration how good the class is as a whole, you know, like what did that class tends to be good at, what that class tends to struggle at. What variants are like, you know, does it have any good variants? Is there good variants in that class? Is there bad variants in that class? Stuff like that. Keep in mind that this is just my opinion. And what, this is just what I'm saying, you know, from my like five and a half ish years experience in Garden Warfare 2. So don't get pissed if a certain class that you like is really low down. Do your own list or something. Also, I'm not including Hovergo or Torchwood in this because they are just one character, or not a class. And with that being said, let's get into it. So coming in at number 14, what I believe to be the worst class in the game is Chomper. Chomper is regarded by many to be probably the worst class in the game, and it's for a reason. Chomper is good at close range, he has abilities to help him get to close range, you know, he has Burrow, which you know, pretty much adds an insta-kill, helps you get up to opponents, get, slows opponents down. But I just feel like he's a bit, you know, limited, you know? Because you get classes like Scientist, who can be used a bit outside of close range, and, like, work... Like, they're close range characters, but they kind of just, like... They just work better than Chomper. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of hard to explain. Chomper's just a bit gimmicky. He's a bit too gimmicky. He's kind of easy to counter, if you're using a long range character, and even some close range characters counter him. There's just better options when it comes to close range characters. As for variants, Chomper has Hot Rod Chomper, which is like 7 out of 10 at best, if you ask me. There's Count Chompula, I've heard is pretty good, although I haven't used them that much myself. And, I, I, I don't know. Most of the Chompers are like, some of the better Chompers are like B tier. Hot Rod is like A tier at best. Even that, I'd say is a, like, even I'd say is a stretch. But overall, he's not entirely useless because he is good at cold range. With that being said, outside of that, he's not really much of a threat. In number 13, we have Engineer. I know a lot of people might think that this is really low down to put Engineer. But think of it this way. All the classes have something that's good about them, you know. All the classes are good in their own way. I don't think Engineer as a class is bad. I just think there are a lot of better classes. He just happens to be in 13. I don't think, like I said, Engineer isn't that bad. It's just, I feel like... His whole thing, it's just like, he's sort of like medium range, kind of, and like, I don't know, I feel like the problem I have with him, and the fact that he's this low, is just like, like, everything he can really do, it's just like, there are classes that can kind of do it better, you know? Like the whole mid range thing, it's just like, you know, there are better classes. That being said, he is still quite useful, he has Bolt Blaster, which is really good. He has Mechanic, Mechanic's a great variant, he's one of the best characters in the game, arguably. But apart from that, he's just, it's an, it's an alright class overall. In number 12, we have the All-Star class. Kind of the same issue as Engineer. Well, I just feel like there are other classes that can do what he does, but better. But I do think it's All-Stars a bit better than Engineer. I don't know, I feel like a lot of All-Stars do have a pretty decent DPS. Plus his Impunt and Sprint Tackle, which in the right situation is pretty much an instant win button. But... He's, he just gets about class, that's my problem. A very controversial pick next, if you will probably. Coming up in number 11 spot is Cactus. I know a lot of people will just say to me, Caden, Cactus is a broken class, you just have a skill issue. And I'm like, well, you see, that's the point. Cactus, I feel like the skill ceiling for Cactus is a bit too high, whereas, like, you can just do what you could do with a cactus, but do it with like another cat class, like at mid-range, like Sunflower or Corn, and get round about the same results, even though Sunflower and Corn, unlike cactus, don't require as much aim or as much skill as playing cactus. I'm not saying cactus is a bad class, cactus has some really good variants, Future Cactus is one of the best long-range attackers in the game, arguably the best. Petrified Cactus hits like a train and has manual detonation, which is just, don't even get me started. Overall a good class, but get I don't know, I feel like it's all long range gimmick, there's ways around it. Coming at number 10, we have Super Brains. The superhero class overall is kind of just like a pretty balanced class. With the exception of Toxic Brains. Toxic Brains is absolutely fucking broken and arguably the best character in the game. But, 
Uh, all the rest, to me, are kind of like average. They're all round, it's an all round pretty good class. I feel like it does the close range thing definitely a bit better than Chomper. Uh, he has a lot more mobility and I don't know. I just feel like SB definitely is one of the better close range classes. That being said, he is still close range and his beam isn't really that good. So he can be a bit limited in a sense. But all around a pretty solid class. Number 9 is Captain Deadbeard. Captain Deadbeard, or the pirate class, is has a lot of utilities. He has a sniper that can attack a long range, he has a shotgun which can attack at close range, the barrel which can use to do a lot of damage, the cannon which can also do a fair amount of damage, and you have the parrot which you know is basically just like a garlic drone but for the zombies. He, so he definitely has a lot of uses. The, the only reason he isn't any higher is just because, I don't know, I just feel like there's better classes. There's not really any other way to put it. Like, he's not bad, there's just better. Also, Captain Cannon is broken as fuck, like, genuinely. What, what is up with manual detonation cards? Why are they- Coming in at number 8 is Sunflower. Sunflower is... Has quite a high DPS. Most Sunflowers do have, like, a really high- Well, not really high, but, like, a pretty solid DPS. And not only is she- a really fast sort of like machine gun type of class but it's also really accurate so you can do quite good damage at long range that's why i was saying you could do what you could normally do with cactus but with some form because she's really accurate and not only that but she can heal herself and her teammates she's probably the best heal in the game because she has like both healing abilities whereas like scientists the uh, support for the zombies only has one plus you have sunbeam or solar flare beam which is kind of just like a not as good P Galling, but like still pretty good overall a really good class and if you're not really as good at the game and want a, like a class to play as plants i would probably suggest picking some for however there are other classes that you can pick as well which i will get to in a minute next up we have citron citron is a sort of like hit and run class you like run up to people in the ball come out laser the fuck out of them go back in the ball run away that's sort of his sort of thing, and he does have abilities to support this, obviously as the ball, his main thing. He has EM Peach, which stuns enemies, it's kind of like Goop. He has the Peel Shield, which blocks attacks for some amount of time. He also has quite a lot of good variants, such as Iron Citron, which is arguably the best character in the game, up there with Toxic Brains and Z7 Imp. But not only that, but he does also have, you know, Reg Citron, Party Citron, Frozen Citron, all really good characters. Toxic Citron and Electro Citron kind of, you know, let, drag them down a bit, but overall, a really good class. In 6th, we have Rose. Now, I haven't played much Rose myself, but throughout my years of playing this game, I have versed my fair share of Roses, and there's one thing that makes this class really good, and that's the homing upgrade. You basically have aimbot when you use it. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. It's just, I, I don't... I don't understand why why they thought that that was a good idea, but they did. There are a lot of really good roses, rose, druid, normal rose, druid rose, neck rose, and party rose are all considered like S tier characters that everybody should at least plan on using at one point, which I would agree with. They are broken. I haven't really got around to playing much rose myself. I'm trying to like level up neck rose a bit, but. I will get around to it one day and I will look forward to decimating people with aimbot because that sounds like a lot of fun. Breaking into top 5 we have Pea Shooter. There is a couple of things that make Pea Shooter good, you know, as Beam Bomb which is pretty good, just put it down and just wait for it to explode, bang, you could maybe get a kill, possibly two. Hyper, it helps you get around places and can also be used for a pretty scummy strategy I'll talk about in a minute. And we have Pea Gatling, you just, you know, Press triangle, hold down R2 or some shit, whatever you use to shoot, and just laser the fuck out of everyone. Now, there is one thing that makes Pea Shooter a bit better than your average class over, and that is the fuck ton of splash damage it has. It doesn't make any fucking sense. This cat thought some of the variants in this class have so much splash damage, you can just look in someone's general direction, shoot at them a couple of times, they are probably gonna die. This class is. it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's kinda dumb, honestly. There are obviously variants that are more skill based, you know, you have a lot of P, there are agent, there's Agent P, two pretty good characters. But the splash damage characters in particular are really fucking good. P shooter, Toxic P, Electro P is really good. 
But Wapi and AJP are also pretty good. You know, there are a lot of variants in this class that are really good, and that's why it's a sire. Coming up next is Imp. Just a heads up that these four classes that I'm about to talk about are pretty much interchangeable. They're all really good in their own way. But this is the way I think it is. Imp, if you ask me, is a really good class. So he has the least amount of health of all the characters, but the thing about him is he can just jump about. He has the double jump thing, making him really hard to hit, you know? He does a lot of damage, he has gravity grenade, which in a lot of situations can just win most gunfights. And he has the Z-Mech, which is his main thing. Um, you just hop in that, go about, and cause fucking chaos. Um, so overall, pretty good character. He also holds what I believe to be the best character in the game, Z7 Imp, who is just disgustingly broken. Starting off the top three, we have Scientist. Scientist is, if you ask me, by far the best close range class in the game. He has close range characters, he also has characters that kind of can fare like mid range, like astronaut. But he, a lot of the classes are mainly close range. And when you get to close range, this guy's damage is fucking insane. There are some characters that have fucked up damage. Scientists have 70 damage per shot. Marine biologists and computer scientists have probably some of the best DPSs in the game, up close. You can also heal, he has warp, he has sticky bomb, you can switch out for heal bomb, you know, he's a good support, he's good for damage, he's just all around a really good class and has a lot of variants that show off how good he is. Coming into the number two spot, or the best plant, is Korn. Korn is up here for a reason, and that is that he, his DPS is just insane. Korn and Party Gone in particular have probably one of the best damage outputs in the game. Combine that with Shot Shot, Husk Corp, and Butt Barrage, which isn't really that good, but you can switch out for bigger, better, but on this guy is insane. What, Mob Cobb is literally just a shittier version in Korn, and he's still pretty good. Like, that, that's how good this guy is. Like, you do not know how good this guy is. He's arguably one of the best characters in the game, along with Party Korn. And like I said, his abilities are really good. Most of Korn's damage outputs are really good. And, like, he, he can just... You don't really require much skill to use him, which is... All that combined just sort of makes him arguably the best class in the game. But not the best, because that award, if you ask me, goes to the Soldier class. Now, Soldier is kind of just like a corn, but for the plant, the um, zombies, sorry. But the reason I think, like, they show a lot of similarities, but the reason I think Soldier is slightly better is for two reasons. One, I feel like there's more really good characters on Soldier, you know, like Foot Soldier, Super Commando, Arctic Tripper. Tank Commander and Sky Trooper arguably up there too. Scuba Soldier is brain dead. You just look in someone's general direction and oh, they're fucking dead. And also, I feel like there's more variety in the Soldier class. You know, like you've, most of them are like fast firing, like machine gun sort of like shoot like characters. Uh, but you've got like Super Commando who has like a boss style. You have you have Tank Commander who has like the one shot per round that does like 60 damage, which is pretty good. You have like super, you have Camel Ranger, which is like a longer range sort of character. There's just like a lot of variety in Soldier. Combine this with this pretty all round ability set that's really good, and you have what I would say is the best class in the game. So that is my list of all the classes in Garden Warfare 2 ranked. Uh, like I said, this is just my opinion. If you have a different opinion, which you probably do, let me know in the comments. Please don't harass me. That would be, that's just not nice. I'd rather not get death threats because I put Chomp on dead last. That's just, I, I can't be bothered with it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like the video and subscribe. Turn on notifications, it'll be very appreciated. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.